Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. As you have started a real project design and its analysis. So in this, uh, I mean, it, it is its second part. So I'm just uh, going to open our software from here. And uh, if you didn't see our first one, just please go and see our, I mean, watch our previous lecture. That links are given in description. And also, if you're a civil engineer and you're first time to my channel, then please subscribe to our channel. So uh, after that, I will open by clicking here our previous uh, model from here. I've selected here. And also, if you think that if you need to know about from basic, just uh, go to our playlist given in description. And there I have discussed everything about our uh, Tecla structural for uh, steel structure and for uh, for steel structure and also for uh, I mean uh, for steel structure and also for uh, RCC structure. So now uh, that is our grid and from here I will select our base and I will just come here model and from here I will give concrete. So click here on concrete after that if I make it like that so so here um, I will give the materials concrete so from which floor to which floor I will uh, draw columns from base to our uh, second floor I mean top floor so a uh, characteristics column materials concrete after that now uh, cast in place and uh, our materials will be 28 28 PSA I'm set uh, 200 as I said 2000 uh, 800 PSA okay so I mean 2.8 KSI and from here in the auto design yes and our column selection first of all I will give 13 inch into 13 inch column and from here uh, motor alignment I will give it center center okay and from here uh, our uh, bar so actually I will just uh, change that I'll just change that to change it just uh, go here design then go to seating okay and here for uh, setting just uh, for reinforcement okay just come here for beam or beam reinforcement it's not UK it's a uh, United Estate then uh, for columns it's also United Estate then for wall it's also for uh, United Estate then for slab it's also for United Estate actually if you do, uh, do not change that that will also will be like that okay so from here uh, punching so just click here punching it's showing the minimum spacing okay uh, spacing so I will consider that USA okay so for punching it's showing uh, minimum spacing if I just make it 31 just okay now press okay now if you come here and just see that there now our uh, required grid are available so I will select from here grid I mean okay 60 grid and also for different berm but it will be 60 grid okay and uh, everything is okay and from here nominal cover uh, one one inch and three by eight inch so okay it's okay after that and also you can uh, give it for your nominal cover oh. uh, so I will just uh, give here uh, as I'm constructing column that's why I'll give it 1.5 inch so it will be 1 here just uh, come here uh, it will be one in uh, 
sorry it will be 1a and uh, 1 divided by 2 okay that means 1 inch and half inch after that I will just uh, draw a column I think everything is okay so first time I will just give column in that side here and uh, also here and also here this is uh, here every one are 13 and also here okay after that I will just uh, everything will be same I will just change its shape 14 for middle and I'm just using as it is a two story building that's why I'm using the minimum uh, size and after that if it's record then I will change that so if we go in 3d just see here here is your uh, column it's okay after that I'll go here level and from here I will select our fast follower cause uh, when we we'll draw beam it will be like us or another floor okay so uh, from here I'll come here it's a uh, cast in place beam so after that from here I'll just select 2800 PSI and from here I will just create new section of beam so our uh, beam section will be 10 divided by uh, let it first of all 13 10 is uh, divided by 13 I will just use it for first time and if record I will uh, change, change that so press ok and also create another one 10 divided by 15 okay so here uh, I will just first of all use 10 divided by 13 sorry it's 10 divided by 13 and also our reinforcement bar will be like that and automatic alignment measure alignment from here you can select that uh, top center bottom just I uh, will use top then just zoom it and do like that uh. like that uh. sorry And like double click that way after that uh, give here from that point to that point and escape and that point to that point sorry uh, that point to that point double click after that uh, sorry here also on that point to that point double click uh, it's done now I'll give beam in that side so I'll just select 10 feet by 15 so from here just uh, select it like that also select it like that select that from here also select that and from here also select that then it's done so if we see in 3d mode just see here our structure is ready alright so if you just see that our structure is ready now uh, here 
everything is done now I'll just uh, go here again for our fast story and I'll draw slab on it so click click here and slab on beam they have another option flat slab that mini slab I'll just click here slab on beam and then just come here add to existing uh, slab type I'm slab base and rotation angle everything will be same then from here live load reduction then it's auto design auto design ok ok everything is ok and from here I'll just give its thickness one sorry uh, 5.5 I mean 5 1 divided by 2 ok 5 1 divided by 2 that means 5.5 inch or we can directly give 11 divided by 2 right then 5.12 inch like that so from here select your concrete grid that is 2800 psi after that it's rigid okay and done from here reinforcement I'll select uh, here it's loose burn different uh, concrete grid it's 60 and our bar size is here our uh, bar size is if I use number 3 bar it will be ok also and I'll just give here 6 is spacing ok then it's ok I think uh, it will be ok so I'll just come here I'll just come here first floor and just I will put that value here just simply click then it's done okay so after that we'll see in 3d again just see here or every floor I mean uh, our slab in every floor it's done now I will just extend that slab okay I will just extend that slab for that I will come here sorry uh, fast story and from here just press escape to delete that command and now click here just give it here and also give it here also give it here for our uh, cantilever portion I will just use that okay. this is also like that here and also here and that is the first point will be here and how will change that how select that everything I have discussed in my previous video so you can watch that if you think that you need to watch it I'm not going to discuss about that now because uh, it's already make my video very lengthy so from here that point to that point okay after that in that side in here is one point and here is another for that slab here is one point and here is another so we have done uh, we have done our model I mean we have created our model now these are uh, actually model and
here that is our uh, model actually so now uh, the question is is it okay our model or not so how will check that so to check our model just keep here and uh, click here model and then click here validate after that it will show that just see here model geometry it's absolutely okay okay so our model geometry is okay they have no problem in our model geometry so in our next video i'll just show that how we'll apply load on it and also how we'll uh, analysis that so thank you thank you very much and if you're new to our channel don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also if you think that that's helpful for you also subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon and like our video share and leave a comment your own like and on comment inspire us for the next one so stay connected to next video